What's up guys, my name is Puma. Welcome back to the channel, wherever you may be and however you may be watching. Thanks for making this video a part of your day. We're back with episode number four and chapter three of my career. We've gotten, uh, I've done a little bit of Road to Glory here. It's, some of these are not, win a match that lasts less than 90 seconds. Really? How? How? Oh, and it's a ladder match too? How? Anyway, we're getting up there. Uh, we've got, oh man, we've got over a month to get another 100 stars or so. Uh, we got some pretty cool towers. We got a pay-per-view tower qualification right here. Um, the daily like father, like son, eight matches, yikes. But we're not doing that. We are doing my career, so let's get back into it. All right, so where we left off, we uh, finished off our matchup here in the parking lot of this high school against Black Hole Cole, where he slammed us up against our van and broke the windshield. We decided to leave it broken, but we are about to head to Mexico and get into some Lucha Libre stuff. Let's go. Wakey, wakey, earthquakey. We're having an earthquake? No, no, no. Just playing the wrestler wake up game, man. Relax. You might want to choose a less terrifying wrestler name next time. Yeah, noted. We made it. Already? It really didn't seem like we were driving two days. Gee, I wonder why. It's because you've been asleep the entire two days. Yeah, duh. Hey. I need my genius promoter. So I changed his uh, face texture. How do we feel about that? How do you say I need a shower in Spanish? Necesita un shower? I don't know. I don't remember the word for shower. <laughs> You're a lot of help. Did you see that? What? what? That masked guy who attacked me, he's here. I just saw him. I think you're seeing things from being awake for so long. Mm. I'm telling you that was him. How about you get some rest before your big match tonight? We need to keep all our momentum going. Can't have any setbacks due to hallucinations. You know. That wasn't a hallucination. Come on, Baron. I know all you right. saw him. Jeez. Wait, stop. Pull over. What? What is it? Did you see him? No. I want to try some authentic Mexican street corn. You would, you fat ass. You're the worst. Get your freaking street corn. Okay, we're coming out of a tent, apparently. Ah, point. And we are in like a Mexican market, it looks like. Too bad we can't use these in, in creating arenas and stuff like that. That'd be cool. These fans are fired up. Look at them. I mean, I'm wearing a mask. These guys know what's going on. Who am I rocking that entrance? Who are we facing? Here in Mexico, El Mago, which is like La Parca's like third cousin. Man, he is cranked. He is a big fella. All right, let's get into it though. I kind of want to see homie do some uh, some moon salts and some. I mean, he's a big dude. Here we go. Here we go. Oh my goodness. And hit him with it. Uh, get El Mago to red health and hit him with a strike while in the ring. All right. I can do that. Here we go. One of my favorite moves. Oh. The, the, my more favorite is the spike where they like, you know, spike him straight up and down. Oh. Oh, the commentary is in Spanish. I mean, of course it would be, but still. I did hear him say Braun Strowman. Other than that, I don't know anything. Oh, that's right. There needs to be subtitles on for the commentary. As, as dumb as that sounds, oh, jeez. As dumb as that sounds, I mean, I don't, I don't know how to speak Spanish. Baño. I mean, that's about it. Modelo, of course. No. No. Get out of here. Not doing that to me, El Mago. Uh-oh. Oh, kick to the midsection. And I float. And I, uh, I was going to say float over head scissors, but he was really... Man, homie has got some skills. 
hace buen tiempo mientras estamos afuera. Get off me. Tal vez el mago lo controla. We ain't having none of that. Oh, jeez, right when we were about to get up, El Mago kicks this big soccer-style kick to the back. Damn, I can't time these stupid reversals. Oh, I see. I see. Oh, my goodness. El Mago tosses us to the outside. They're counting in English, though. Jeez, Mago. Wouldn't it make more sense to ta uh, count in, sp in Spanish? I do know how to do that, I mean, at least. Oh, man, he took us out of it, and we make him pay. Oh, jumping DDT on the outside. Seis, right? Siete. Uh. Uh-huh. Oh, he's not counting. Oh, jeez. Ocho. Okay, we're getting El Mago. We're not even... Oh, shoot. He's not even damaged at all, it looks like. I'm already orange. Too fast. This is ridiculous. Oh, and a crucifix from El Mago. El Mago. Oh, man, I thought we were about to powerbomb him. I thought I had that reversal. I think I'm going to let him, yeah, throw me in the ring. Oh, come back. Whoa! That was freaking awesome. And we've lost our comeback. Oh, shoot. Oh, damn, we almost lost the freaking match. That little sliding strike was very cool. All right, let's time this. Damn, he got us anyway. Was it an elbow or a knee? Oh, an elbow right across the, the noggin. And he's going to drag us out and... Shoot, I tried to do... I tried to kip up. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh! We, we kicked out. Puma's kicked out. The man is a beast. Man, we are getting our butts kicked here by Mago. Get off me. Why can't I stand up? Oh, oh man. Oh, come on. Get out of my ring. Yeah, we're going to line him up. You know, the fans want to see. Well, probably not a lame drop kick, but you get it. All right, he's used a reversal. We're going to send him into the turn, but shoot. I don't think our signature is uh, in the turnbuckle anymore. Got him. Got him. Oh, now we're on our finisher. Shoot. Uh, uh. Shot. We're going to bounce off the road. Big kick to the head. And a spinning kick there. Nice job. Puma. All right, we're going to... Oh, shoot. He's got a comeback. I'm afraid if we use our... Okay, well, I was going to try to do a charge up, but it doesn't look like we can. And he just gets a free reversal. Oh, he does get a free reversal. Reversal here is what we need. To, nope. There we go. And... Oh, I thought we were about to reverse Frankenstein this dude. Big moon saw. Oh, gosh. We just... Straight up vertical landed on him. Uh huh. Stand up, cause we about to do something else. We about to springboard again on you and hooking him up. Oh, nice job there from Puma. Is he? He's gonna go up top now. Uh oh. And just as Mago turns over, Puma lands on him hard. And a throwback move. And now he's going after the legs. No. Mago pushes him off. And now Mago goes after the legs. Oof. Pulling him all the way back here. Quickly goes down for the pin. But Puma's not having it at all. 
No, sir. Uh-oh. Puma quickly, though, works out of it. Uh. And he dives on Mago and goes to town on him with those punches. And now he is he is ready to work over El Mago here. Center of the ring. He's going to hook those arms. Got him up. Pile driver, center of the ring. Nice job there from Puma. And now he is calling him up again. And again, knee to the face. Following up with a boot. And then a spinning wheel kick. Nice job there. Oh, and he dives out of the way. Mago gets out of the way there. Oh, and he catches Mago as he was running in for something. Puma is able to get to him. And he dives on him on the outside. Puma is working Mago over right now. Get back in the ring, he says. And stand back up. Puma has got something for these fans. And a Hurricane Rana, nice move. Gets him back up to his feet. Oh, big right hand from Puma. He's gonna send Mago into the turnbuckle. Huge clothesline. And no. Whoa, security's got this dude and drags him down. Even Mago, that, that's, that's good guy Mago right there. Not going after Puma after the fan dives into the ring, and apparently that's the end of the match. All right. Okay, what now do we got here? Me? I guess so. Look. Take this stupid helmet off. I don't know why you're doing this, but I am not going to let you try to ruin my career ever again. Punch him in the face and then take the mask off. Lo siento, soy un fan y solo quería atención. Perdóname, por favor. What's what? he saying? Did what? he admit to everything? <sighs> no. He's a fan. He's just craving attention. Oh, a this copycat. copycat monkey. Not the same guy. Let him go. <sighs> Gracias, señor. Oye, ¿puedo tener un autógrafo? <laughs> Yeah, we'll sign an autograph for this guy. You have a marker. Baron Blade just happens to have a You're marker. You're a better man than I am. Oh, and he's gonna sign the mask? Don't do that again. Oh, man. Buzz. All right. How strange. Hey, gracias. And it's also how strange how can I ask can I have an autograph was an English subtitle. Well, your big Mexico debut didn't go quite as planned, but the match was great up until the end. And any publicity is good publicity, right? You've still got the buzz going. The buzz? What? Yeah, I guess. I'm gonna take a shower. I'm gonna go take a shower, okay. You mean ducha. Ducha. I looked it up. Way to go, Baron. Expanding your horizons. So, this is what you had to build for our big rematch, right? What is it, a tetanus tornado match? <laughs> yep, it's a beauty, don't you think? I'd say it's more beast than beauty. Well, its official name is the Scrap Trap. The... Not only are we going to have our biggest Scrap streaming trap. audience yet, we're doing it in one of WWE's most iconic venues. It's like we're invading their territory. Oh, geez, Man. okay. I wish I could see the look on Triple H's face when he sees this. Yeah, he's gonna say... Where did this even come from? What the... Where did you dig this up? All over. I salvaged it from other wrestling promotions, a junkyard scrap. That section is from WCW's Triple Cage. That is from an ECW cage, and I believe that side used to be an old prison fence. <laughs> Pretty neat, huh? Okay. 
What is happening? I think a better name would be Death Trap. We're gonna get some kind of disease. This violates every health code known to mankind. <laughs> yeah, it does. Uh, that's not something to be proud about, B Blade. Come on, bro. All right, we're gonna keep things going here. We're gonna keep things going. Let's, uh. Do we have any messages? Nope. Podcast. Yeah, there's a new one of those, but I, I, I can listen to those. We don't have to keep going with those podcasts. Let's talk to Cole here. I saw what happened in Mexico. Too bad some idiot had to go and ruin a great match. Yeah, he's a knucklehead, but we signed his mask and he moved on with his day. As Baron Blade says, any publicity is good publicity, right? <laughs> yes, Baron. You've heard it before, then. How was Japan? That's right, Cole Quinn got to go to Japan. Japan was great. I was free to be myself, and the fans really respected that. So, I'm gonna try that from now on here in the U.S. Well, there you go. Be yourself. How weird. No more black hole Cole. Yeah, that was a, that was terrible. Really? No, it was terrible. <laughs> I think you have a long future ahead of yourself as Cole Quinn. Yeah, assuming I survived the scrap trap tonight. Yeah, good luck to uh, both of us on that one. Very, very good point. All right, let's talk to Baron. See what he's got to say. Is this scrap trap? Cage safe. No, but that's the appeal of it. And you know what I always say. Um, controversy creates cash. I do always say that, but that's not the and catchphrase it, I was referring to. <laughs> that's an Eric Bischoff phrase. This ain't ballet. Yes, that's the one. <laughs> that's the one. Okay. It's just that things are going really well for us. I mean, look where we are. In just a couple of months, we've gone from a high school gym. To a famous WWE venue. I wouldn't want all that to get derailed by an injury. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Have you had a tetanus shot recently? Good God. We're gonna get, we're gonna, we're gonna die. All right, well, let's do it. It looks like we're the Hammerstein ball, ballroom here. And, you uh, Huh. All right, we're gonna skip the entrances. Come on, it's Cole Quinn coming on out in his bow tie and his goofy pants. Oh, these these people are fired up about Cole Quinn, and no, he is fresh from Japan in the blue and black. Very nice. All right, let's get this thing going. Okay. The cage is being lowered. This is the first cage match that I put. What the heck? Look at this stupid cage. This thing is a wreck. Get off me, Cole. Okay, we. It looks like we've kind of, kind of gotten Cole's number here a little bit. Let's see. Oof, nice move there from Puma. Stand up, Cole. Oh, nope. Nope. Oh, there it is. And we missed. <laughs> and Cole's taking advantage of us and beating us down here. No. Off the ropes goes Cole. Leapfrog. Leapfrog again into a... Reversal from Cole pushes us off and super kick right to the face of Puma here. And we're this is not an escape the cage situation. This is a pinfall or submission match. Or win by pinfall or submission. That knee spins Puma all the way around. My good get Oh! Oh no! We started our kip up. And Cole went for a move, and we this lost it. What? Get off of me. I can't believe we lost it. Oh, we didn't, though. If you think this thing looks dangerous, that's we actually got the, uh, the buff, but Cole here is whooping our ass. So, there's that. 
Oh, come on, bro. We call this the scrap trap because it was scrapped together from junkyard metal and old steel cages. Thank you, Baron, for uh, promotions and exposing us to this rattle can of a freaking. Oh. Okay, didn't mean to do that. Just one count. They shut it down. Damn it. Privilege. Oh, and shoot. These two guys are out here killing it. Yeah, we did. Nice. To him, no one's him. Oh, no. He no got us. Stop the and we have a, we're out of reversals and a boot. Puts Puma down to the mat. And a slap to the face by Cole. He's going to send Puma across the ring. And a nice move there by Cole. Oh my gosh, we can't get out of this thing. Neckbreaker by Cole. And he's going to go for the pin here. Oh, I don't know why. what I'm waiting on. Comeback time. Shot by Poop. No. Oh. Oh man, we could start the comeback out of the reversal. Very cool. Very cool right there. Oh, okay. Oh, can we do our finisher on the run? We have no reversals, so we can't do anything right now. Shot right to the chin of CM Puma here. Oh, oh. what's he doing? Oh my goodness, picking Puma up by the head. And now stomping the chest. Good night, Irene. Why can't, damn, I can't get up or do anything. Get off me. Scrap trap match. We're so close to these signatures. I just wasted the whole thing. But we got him. Puma's bite right there. And we quickly have a signature. There we go. Got him, got him, got him. I forget our freaking signatures. Oh, I got you. I got you. Missed. Uh. And boop. The other one, I was trying to do the reversal or the DDT, whatever it's called. Yeah. Oh, shoot. I was going to do my overcharge, but. Uh huh. Look at him, he's he's a beast. We call this the scrap trap and I was able to get out of it, but a shot to the stomach. Steel cages from other oh man, he caught us with that. Oh, and a quick, oh, that's his finishing move. Damn, we just lost to Cole Quinn in the cage. Do we start over? It looks like it. Objected failed. All right, well, we'll start over, and um, I'll pin him. And you guys, we won't have to watch it, but I'll beat him up real quick, hopefully. And uh, then we'll go from there. This is the match you've all been waiting for. Buzz versus Cole Quinn in the first ever Scrub Trap Match. If you think this thing looks dangerous, that's because it is. Well, there we go, folks. We get the victory over Cole Quinn after we hit the Puma's bite in the scrap trap in BCW and the home, the former home of Monday Night Raw. I thought this was maybe the Hammerstein Ball, but it doesn't. That's not correct. I don't know. Guys, that truly topped anything you've ever done before. But I'm afraid I got some bad news. What? Yeah, what happened? Our pay-per-view stream went down in the middle of your match. Uh. No one watching online got to see how it ended. 
Awesome. <laughs> Did the site crash or something? What happened? No. We were taken down intentionally by Triple H. Triple H? <laughs> How do you <laughs> even like, do Whoa? that? He and WWE's lawyers are claiming they have exclusive rights to broadcast from this oh, venue. Man. Okay. <sighs> Damn it! And now we're getting flooded with refund requests. Don't think you're getting any bonus checks for this show, guys. I'm sorry. Does either of you know if you can return slightly used jet skis? I might have jumped the gun on purchasing a couple. Damn it, Cole. You know better than that. We'll circle back to that later. First, Triple H unfairly pulls my contract from defending myself from an attack, and now he's trying to sabotage our business? We have to strike back. They have a team of lawyers and an endless supply of cash. You guys just competed in a cage made from an old prison fence. True that. What could we possibly do to them? True that. Well, you said it earlier. Tonight was like we're invading their territory, right? So, what if we actually did that? What do you mean? No kidding, Pooh. I mean, what are you doing? We hit Triple H exactly where it hurts the most by selling him used jet skis. <laughs> Invading NXT! Invading NXT! Totally on the same page as you, Buzz. I don't know about this, what guys. What the hell, Cole? It seems risky. Why? We've both been rejected by WWE, so what do we have to lose? Right? And this is what you wanted, Baron. You wanted this. You said it yourself. Our plan was to stick it to Triple H. Okay. So what do you say? I think we're gonna need a really big stick. That's what I'm talking about! Oh boy, Baron's on board. Hey, Cole. All right, here we go. It. Front row, just like you wanted. Well, yeah. Nobody's coming this from fucking row bill. 12. Oh, sorry. Wrong pocket. No. Thank you. Come on, Cole. Nobody's paying your damn this bills. This is either. it, Buzz. You ready? Oh, I'm ready. You guys remember when Triple H and DX invaded WCW? People still talk about that to this very day. This yes. is going to be very good for but us they were somebody. and BCW. We're nobodies. Ready for anything. Well, I'll be pulling for you. I hope you got enough money to get us out of friggin' jail. That's totally what's gonna happen. We're gonna go to fucking jail. I, <laughs> I have no doubt. All right. Well, that is where we are gonna end this episode. Uh, we did good in Mexico. Thought we caught our attacker, but we were mistaken. And then we fought in the scrap trap and. Definitely need a tetanus shot. So in the next episode, looks like we are invading NXT. I'm excited to see where this goes. After that, we'll talk, or before that, we will talk to Baron and Cole here outside the Bug Busters van. But that is going to be it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you're not. And come on back. Lots of WWE 2K content coming your way.